Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, today, I thought I'd show you this uh, Boba Bird watch. The uh, CRA number will be in the title, of course, and the link to buy one will be in the comments below. Um, I thought I'd just show you this because, you know, I wanted to branch out into something else and I've been super busy as of late. Um, you know, I've not had time to make a bar song video for today, um, or for Sunday, I should say. Um, However, for next week, Balance One Video should be back as normal. We've got some very big stuff happening uh, next week. And so, yeah, uh, I just wanted to kind of get started with this. This has been my everyday watch for the past well, several months now. Um, so, you know, I've got a good idea of how this wears, how it lasts. You know, there's not too many in depth reviews on like the wooden watches. And I think that they look actually really, really cool. So, I've decided, you know. Why not just uh, review it? You know, just take a look at it and uh, see how it goes. Um, so yeah, starting off with the basic specs. You know, it's a 44 millimeter, roughly case diameter, with a 50 millimeter lug to lug. So a bigger watch, definitely for sure. Um, you know, I think maybe six inch wrist. Maybe you'll be able to pull it off if you've got like particularly big hands. But here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. It wears quite well, to be honest. Um, you know, it doesn't look too out of place. It's big enough that it, you know, has a bit of a presence on the wrist, which I do quite enjoy. Um, but not so big that it makes my, you know, hand look small or anything. Like, you know, doing whatever you want with the you know, writing or uh, whatever you want to do with the, with the watch. You know, it'll do. I think it, it looks quite nice. Um, I've chosen this uh, green dial here. And it's just a very matte green dial. Um, with some black indices and then loomed hands here. Just some standard kind of sword hands um, that taper outwards towards the tip. Uh, it is a quartz movement. So for those of you who aren't interested in quartz movements, you know, you can <laughs> watch till the end, you know, so I can get that view time up. But um, yeah, I think in terms of as a budget option, I think it's fantastic. It's only, I think I paid 40 pounds for this guy, but I'm sure the link price will be slightly different because I bought this off of a, a different site actually. Um, but it was a gift. I got this and another one as a gift for someone else and I got one for myself. Um, and so, you know, the case material, I think is steel uh, of some sort. It does seem to be different from the bracelet material, but they are the same coating. Um, unless the uh, case is also made of like this kind of coppery color material. I'm not sure if you can see it there. Um, but I mean, otherwise it holds up to, you know, scuffs pretty well. I think it still looks quite neat, quite rugged. Um, you know, it looks honestly quite, quite fancy. It kind of, it, it looks in place almost everywhere. It's almost kind of leaning towards that dress watch side, but uh, not quite there. So in terms of what the complications are on the, uh, on the face, you have a kind of basically daytime, nighttime teller here with this uh, rightmost complication it tells you the 24 hour time right so it starts at uh, 24 and goes you know 6 12 18 so you can read the 24 hour time from there and then you can also have a stopwatch here which this first button does the stopwatch as you can see and then of course this is your minutes like the big minutes so up to an hour you've got a, a stopwatch which is quite nice um, and of course this resets this button resets there pretty standard you get a nice small crown um i couldn't tell you how big it is it looks about three to four um, four to five mil in diameter maybe um it's only between three and five so it's a small crown but of course you only use it for uh setting the date right um which of course yes i forgot to say there is a at the four and a half between the four and five clock position you've got a, a date window here it's small but it, it's discreet but i honestly do quite like it it's very helpful i do like having a date um it's really present you've got a really clean dial obviously but after the chronograph features and functions you just have this really nice simple bobo bird plaque and the uh the screws that are on it i'm not sure if they're faux screws they could be but they are at least aligned with the 12 o'clock position which is quite nice you know Hublots don't have that, um, aligned screws, <laughs> and this costs uh, a thousandth of, of a Hublot, so not saying it's better, but you know, just something to mention. Um, the crystal is slightly 
now to show it best. It's slightly raised from the, you know, this kind of bezel, I guess, um, this wooden bezel. Obviously, no rotating, it's all fixed, right? Um, the crystal is slightly raised and it is a hardened mineral crystal. So, fairly scratch resistant, but I'm not sure if it'll show up. I do have a little odd scratch you can kind of see there. Um, there's the odd scratch and the odd scuff. You know, a few little cracks up here. But I really do not uh, take care of this watch in terms of, I do not baby it whatsoever. Um, it's something I do you know, use quite, quite hardly. So, uh, like quite rough. So, you know, I've got a... You know, some scuffs here, whatever this coating is, is peeling off, so... But the wood, I think it's glued in or something. Um, yeah, it looks like, like it could be glued in. But it is actual wood, as far as I can tell. Like, it's, it's genuinely, like, really nice. The, the texture is quite pleasant, especially with uh, this very smooth bracelet. I do honestly really like the look of the wood. I think this kind of dark wood, I don't remember exactly what wood it is, but this kind of dark, greeny, foresty wood here, as long, along with the you know, matte green dial, really works really well. Um, the bracelet is actually really nice. It's very comfortable to wear. It wears on the hand, honestly, surprisingly nicely. Um, better than a watch this price range should, you know. Um, it does come in a nice wooden box as well, uh, with a, like a straw cushion and a link removal tool and some spare links. Um, I've taken out two on each side, I believe. Um, and so now my wrist is in a unfortunate position where it's halfway between I think half a link extra taken off would be perfect um, for my wrist because one link is too much but uh, yeah so maybe if there was a micro adjust that would honestly take this watch to the next level but it's a simple butterfly clasp um, right and I mean it's nothing too special the case back it's pretty pretty bland um, it's got a nice kind of Greek um, edge there, laser edge, uh, with, you know, the Bobo Bird logo, um, with pieces of nature, designed by Bobo Bird, and the date stamp, which says uh, the February 2023, so you can see, you know, this watch is, I guess, a little over a year old now, and it's uh, honestly a fantastic little watch, it is a pushpin bracelet at the end, uh, but it comes with a link removal tool, so it's, it's not too big of a deal in my opinion, and just a really simple clasp here. Um, one side seems to hold up a little bit better than the other side, but uh, overall, it's really simple, really easy to take on, take off, uh, you know, very quick, to be honest. Um, and the indices now are, not the indices, sorry, the actual hands are loomed, and uh, I think they look pretty good. You know, here's how they look like in, uh, in a low light setting. Obviously, I've got a fairly bright light, but they do get brighter, actually, if I were to charge it up here, just a little bit. Um, and, you know, they, they do get quite bright, and they, they do glow quite nicely and um, as you can see does it last all night no but uh, it's definitely something that I, I it does last quite a few hours um, and so uh, I definitely could say that it's, it's quite nice uh, in the wee hours of the morning it does definitely show up um, however it's, it's really pretty simple uh, it's nice that it is loomed and it's not the worst loom in the world but um, overall for the price I can't complain and so yeah overall uh, what do I recommend the watch? Yeah, I do recommend this watch. I think as a cheap body option, it's something you could easily, you know, grab, beat it up, not worry about it. Quartz movement, so it keeps time really well. Um, unfortunately, the like the actual dial isn't exactly perfectly aligned, but I think that's actually more of an issue with the movement. Um, overall, it's it's a really nice watch uh, for the price. I really can't complain. These wood watches are. Not the best thing, but as like a once in a while dress watch kind of um, slash casual watch. It's definitely something, uh, well obviously, like I say, I see myself wearing, I do wear it, right, every day. Um, you know, it's the reason thing I really enjoy, um, especially with the loom performance, it's just fantastic. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.